What's up, what's going on legends? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're diving into Modern Warfare Zombies and today I'm bringing you guys a method that should allow you guys to easily farm the new Red Worm boss in order to get those new schematics, including the Flawless Ethereum Crystal, the Legendary Aether Tool, and the Scorcher Case. Now you guys are gonna wanna take advantage of this method as soon as possible because I'm expecting it's gonna get patched very soon as it's not intentional. Basically what happens is anytime you guys choose to go and take on the Red Worm, there is a possibility of it getting insta-killed. Now essentially with this method, you guys are gonna farm it, hoping to go over there, getting an insta-kill, and if you guys do get the insta kill then you'll be able to get your guys a schematic and if you guys don't get the insta kill you're going to want to escape and once i was able to actually come up with this plan and execute it i was able to do it in multiple matches in a row now i was only able to get the insta kill in one out of the five runs that i did this and i'm sure you guys are all wondering how do you get the insta kill now there's a lot of things that go into this i looked at all of my footage originally i thought it might be a sentry gun but we didn't have sentry guns in every run originally i thought it was going to be one of the dogs but i didn't have a dog in every single run that this happened so honestly what i think the culprit is of an insta kill to this red worm is actually going to be the storm if you guys are familiar with going into the aether storm at any point maybe you guys have taken on the storm collar you guys will notice there's a lightning bolt symbol that does target specific areas if you guys get hit by it you guys could get instantly downed what i think is happening when you guys trigger the red worm fight sometimes is that the lightning bolt is actually striking in the exact location of the worm which is then causing this effect out of the many times i've fought this worm at this point i think we insta killed it up to three times and each of the times we did it in under 30 seconds one of the times it happened in the first five seconds one of the times it happened in about six or seven seconds and one of the times to happen in roughly just under that 30 second mark. Now, once I figured out that this bug was actually occurring, I decided well, let's go ahead and come up with a plan in order to try to farm this as you're more than likely not gonna be able to get as geared as you need to be in order to go and take this worm on. And also depending on many other variables, you might not be able to eliminate this in each and every one of your matches. I know these schematics are something that a lot of you guys are gonna wanna get your hands on. So I definitely recommend going through this route while you guys still can in order to get access to them. And what I'm gonna recommend is you guys still are gonna wanna get as geared as possible. Make sure you have pack punch level three, at least get blue rarity as it is going to help keep you alive and make sure you guys have all the perks. Self revives are going to be crucial for this depending if you're solo, duo, or in a squad. And obviously if you guys are in a squad, definitely run the healing aura as it will get you guys up in a pinch. Now I'm not going to go through each of the steps in order to get access to each of the USB sticks. So if you guys don't know how to do that part of this, I'm going to go ahead and pin in the comment section below a link to my video where it will then show you guys the steps to get access to the USB sticks. So by the time you're using this farming method, you guys will already understand how to do that and get access to each of those sticks. So that way you guys will be able to acquire them throughout the run while you guys are going and grabbing your perks, leveling up your gun, or getting your pack a punch, I should say. That way, at the end of the match, when the storm is then expanding and you guys can head over to the right location, you guys will then be able to place these USB sticks in, triggering the Red Worm fight. Now again, you guys don't have to go into this expecting to actually fight the Red Worm. The plan is to go into the fight, initiating the fight once the Red Worm actually comes up. You just want to fight it long enough to see if it's going to bug out. Again, I think the issue here is that the lightning has to strike the worm, which is not going to happen each and every time. So you guys aren't going to want to hang out forever. You just want to remain in the area of the Red Worm fight for the 30 seconds to see if you guys are going to be able to get the insta kill. Of course, you guys are going to want to make an attempt to try to damage it as much as possible just to see if it's going to trigger the death. The only other thing that I had that was very common throughout all of my matches was the shatter blast and i definitely don't think the shatter blast was going to be the culprit because it doesn't really work on the worm so 100 i think you guys are just relying on the rng of the storm hitting the worm when you trigger the fight and if you guys do get lucky enough the worm will instantly just die and explode you guys will then be able to grab your reward you guys go over to it and anybody that is in this area will be able to get the reward regardless if they're in the same squad or not so even multiple six man squads could join this fight and all 12 of the people will get the reward you guys will then be able to go over to the reward open it up you guys will either get the scorcher case again the flawless ethereum crystal or the legendary aether tool schematic now the only unfortunate part is you guys can get a duplicate so it is possible you guys open this up and it's one that you've already gotten at that point the portal opens you guys can then exfil now let's talk about what happens if you guys go over to the worm fight initiate it and it doesn't get the insta kill and about 30 seconds do go by what you might want to make sure you do before you even trigger the fight you guys are going to want to go around the area and grab a few vehicles setting them up in the direction in which the storm is heading that way when you guys actually go and trigger the fight if you guys do realize it's not going to get the insta kill you guys just run over over to the vehicle, jump in. You guys will still be able to travel towards and out of the storm, getting your way over to the exfil, making it in time and being able to exfil safely. Before you guys go down in the comment section and tell me that's not gonna work, I've done this multiple times. We were able to do five runs in a row and only one of our runs was it actually insta-killed. Obviously in that run, we didn't have to go and take our escape route, but every other time that it wasn't the insta-kill within the 30 second time period, we decided we had to escape. We then just jumped in our vehicle. We're able to make it over to the exfil with plenty of time, exfil safely, and we didn't lose any of our 
our stuff. I'm gonna give you guys a quick summary of how it's gonna work. You guys are gonna infill no matter what the run looks like. You're gonna go ahead and make sure you get the, each of the USB sticks. Then you're gonna go through your run, just gearing up, make sure you get pack punch three, get all your perks, do whatever you're gonna do. Then towards the end of the run, you'll head over to the location of where the worm fight's gonna be. Make sure you guys do have the extra self revives. You guys will then place the USB sticks in when the time is right. You'll wait for the worm to spawn. You'll fight the worm for about 20, 30 seconds just to see if it gets the insta kill. If the lightning at that point then does strike the worm, I think it will give you the insta kill. You guys will then be able to exfil through the dark aether portal. If not, you guys will then go and run to the vehicle jumping in it, being able to escape to the nearest exfil, exfil safely, being able to go into your next run and repeat the process. The idea here is giving you guys the chance to farm these schematics that are very, very difficult to get before they go ahead and fix this issue that is definitely gonna make this fight a lot harder. But that's gonna wrap things up for today's video. Thank you guys for all supporting today's video, all supporting the channel, and I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. Peace.